But yeah, this is this is without the gunk on it. Imagine what it looked like before. <clears throat> Yo, what's snapping zombies? You watch it, Nacho Slacker, and it's time for episode three of the Big Blue Beater series. Yep. Today's topic is gonna be about that really messed up quarter panel in the rear where the bumper got destroyed and it completely cracked up and destroyed that SMC fiberglass that's on the bed side. So in these clips, I'm basically not saying enough and I'm starting to realize that after I had already recorded things. So I'm gonna try to get better at that, but until then, you're gonna have to deal with me narrating and giving some descriptions on what I've done. In these clips, I'm gonna show you the roll pan. Yep. The fiberglass repair, I got a lot of photos, but I didn't get the actual process on camera. So I'm gonna describe it after everything's done, you watch the clips, but I'll show you photos during the process, what to do, how to fix it, and how the roll pan's gonna look whenever it's on. I also do a lot of rust repair underneath, because the roll pan, the way it is, is that it, it's gonna come off with the entire bed. It's not mounted to the frame like the regular bumper would be. I'm gonna show you exactly what I did, pretty much what I put on there to prevent it from rusting further and also protect it from like anything like weather. Watch these clips, soak it all in, and then I'll be right back to give you a good description after I'm done. We got my new roll pan with a big blue beater. I finally decided what I was gonna do. I was gonna go with the OEM style bumper, but they're really expensive. And it kind of looks a little weird to me now that I look at them. I, lo I looked at them both and compared them both and like try to figure it out. And with the side step, I feel like the roll pan's gonna look the best. It's nice and flush. It's gonna look cool. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of fiberglass in and stuff like that probably. It all depends. Uh, I don't know if I want, cause it looks like it goes really well with the body lines if I don't glass it. But I gotta glass that one quarter panel side of the side step anyway. So I might just do that and uh, see if we can get some, some things going. Having the roll pan is gonna make it drivable. Yeah, street legal. So I don't have to zip tie my damn license plate to the frame and not drive at night. We're gonna have a, a roll pin on there. Finally, a bumper so I could drive this thing around, go to work with it, drive it around a little bit, and then drain the transmission fluid again, which I might have to do a couple times because that transmission fluid was terrible. Also, drain the oil again, because a lot of maintenance hasn't been done in this thing in a long time, so I kind of want to circulate everything, including the radiator fluid, everything, the, the coolant, all that stuff I wanted to flush through, kind of like get all the chunks or whatever is left in there and can do it once or twice more than I've already done it. It's gonna help if I could drive it to work. I only live right down the road, so hopefully, you know, nothing's gonna happen when I drive to work. But it's gonna give me a, a chance to put some more miles on the new water pump, radiator, all that stuff. But I'll show you like little processes through installing this roll pan. Uh, it looks pretty easy. I might have to buy my own screws because I heard that these don't come with really that great of screws. We'll see how it all goes. I'm gonna line it up, see what it looks like, see if I'm gonna glass it. But yeah, this is the roll pan. Finally, haven't opened this box yet. Let me open this up, check it out, see what it looks like. All right, zombies, so there's a roll pan. That thing looks smooth. Looks real nice, real pretty. There's my janky ass license plate. See the zip ties. Yeah, you already know. Ghetto as hell. Yeah, I like to do it. Here's the good side of the quarter panel. Oh, yeah. And there's the back side. That's the one I gotta fix. So, since I'm doing all this fiberglass work. It's actually SMC, from what everybody keeps saying, which is sheet molded composite or compound. Nobody sells these things. Nobody sells step side bed sides, like brand new from these years of trucks, the OBS style. Nobody sells them. I don't know why. So I'm gonna have to get down and dirty, get all in this fiberglass, grind it all out. It's gonna be fun. itchy as hell but uh you know thankfully a lot of the pieces are kind of still attached so i might be able to salvage them and use them but it's been raining so this 
This stuff is still probably damp. I'm gonna let it dry out real good. Grind all this right here out. Grind all these cracks out. Find a way to keep it shaped because uh, even the bolts, like right here, they pop through because it's so rotted. It just got tore up from when I was rear-ended. But yeah, that's that's the roll pan right there. I'm super impressed. 87 bucks on eBay. And that thing looks good. <laughs> of course, we gotta spice these lights and everything. Yeah, we are gonna go ahead and fix that fiberglass and mount this thing. about to spray this shit. This is nasty. This is a nasty job. Wear a respirator. I'm tired. I'm trying to get this sprayed on so tomorrow I can undercoat it. Stay tuned. So I ground all that rust off. It was hideous. It was terrible. It was horrible. I ground all the rust off. Sprayed some uh, Rust-Oleum rust converter on it. Let it sit. Came back the next day. Sprayed it with Rust-Oleum undercoat. Then I started going ham on all the fiberglass. I sanded the back of the quarter panel first. Taped everything down. I used like a 3M painter's tape for automotive to tape everything down to keep its shape. Glass that whole back of it to make sure everything's gonna stay where it's at. So once I glassed that, I let it sit overnight. Next day I came back, took all the tape off, and I ground out all those cracks that I was showing you. I basically used an angle grinder and a Dremel tool to grind all those cracks out. Just make a bevel with it, in a way. And then I cut pieces of glass, fiberglass, mat, that basically went from small to big to match whatever I ground out. Then I wet that all up, put it all on there, one at a time, one layer at a time, until it was basically more a little bit more than flush with the smoothness of the panel with the shape of the panel right I let that all kick off the next day I came back sanded everything down flat then I used some filler that sticks to SMC fiberglass this stuff um, you can probably get in any marine store I just it's basically like Bondo you mix it the same way as Bondo. I dragged everything out until I can get it as smooth as I could. Then I blocked everything down with like 80 grit sandpaper. Sanded everything down flat. Then I came back, filled in whatever else needed to be filled in, like little tiny defects, things like that. Sanded that down with a block. Then I primered everything with a self-etching primer, and then I went over the self-etching primer with a filler primer. Sanded everything down again. Then, sprayed it again, and I put the roll pan on. Everything went good, except for I did need to get new self-tapping screws. So I did do that. And once I did that, I zip-tied the bottom of the the roll pan to the actual bed to get everything to kind of like sit right. As you may know, primer is extremely porous and it absorbs moisture really bad. So I went back and sprayed everything with black spray paint I had lying around and it turned out pretty good. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon to make sure you're updated with every video I post and hit me up if you need anything. Until next time, later.